2K Sports Network. Coming to you live from Extensive Enterprise Stadium. Today's game is hosted by the U. They'll be defending against the Red Dogs. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Okay, let's do a rundown of the all-pro talent in today's game. Juan Mix and Dante Lovelli lead the charge for the Red Dogs. And when you think about the great ones, when you take an accounting of them, you're remiss if you don't consider these two pros. But the other team is also loaded with talent. Well, these two guys can break the game wide open. And look at the rest of those names. What a cast of players. Thanks, Peter. Now let's go. I'll be gentle. You ready? Gentlemen. Heads. Heads it is. We want the ball. The Red Dog. Epstein boots it downfield and we're underway. Hilliard catches it back at the eight. Stopped at the 29. The weather is certainly a factor, isn't it, Peter? Well, it doesn't rain much harder than this thing. This deluge is turning the grass into mud and the players' cleats are churning it all right up. This game looks like it could become half football, half mud wrestling. Peter, thank you. The Red Dogs will start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Number 51 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. The rain has soaked the field, the ball, everything. Hard to complete passes in these conditions. Potential for some nice yards and some nice yards after the catch, but it falls incomplete. Uh, that could have been a big play. It'll be second down. Warner gets the call on second down and ends up losing about three. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Sims gets the sack at the 23. That will bring up fourth down. Tim Sims goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Bidwell lines up to punt after the three and out. Bidwell takes the snap and punts it away. Warner fields it at the 40. Dragged down at the 44. Joe Warner got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The U's send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 44-yard line. Portis gets the handoff and heads wide right. One man to beat. Eventually pushed out of bounds at the 43. Ty Sharps eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops him, but way past the marker, this one's going to hurt. The defense gives up the first down pretty quickly there, Peter. Yeah, you got to at least slow him down a bit. First down with the tight end right. Portis gets the call again and takes it upfield. Eventually pushed out of bounds. At Portis sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Johnson catches it left sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Bass gets the sack 
Way back at the 13. Ryan Bass forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. No good. Incomplete. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. Third and goal. They have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Fourth down, goal to go. 13-yard line. McGee will hold the kick. Epstein from 30 yards out, and they take the lead. Kevin Epstein kicks a soggy football here, but he's on target. Epstein doesn't get a hold of it very well. Hilliard collects it at the 17. Tackled at the 26. Dalton Hilliard fielded a little bit of a short kick, but he couldn't get past that really great coverage. The Red Dogs, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 26-yard line. Warner catches this one and tries to get free. Stopped at the 31. Kurt Warner made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The U's with a small lead, three to nothing. Second and five. Gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down, both wide outs to the right. Stop at the 39. First and ten from the red ball, 39 yard. First and ten. Down. Sit. Landry airs this one to the left sideline at the receptions made at the 36. Tackled and the clock will continue. Dante Lavelli is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first pass. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Dennis Watts had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Warner gains five on the play, and that will bring up third down. 
Kurt Warner played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, tight end to the left. Martin catches it over the middle and is at the five. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. Oh, a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Landry throws a heater, and it's incomplete. Jason Caldwell had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Need didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Schweinard Need tried to snag that one across the middle, but it doesn't happen. That would have gotten their first down, and he had room to run as well. Incomplete, however, and it will be third down. Landry dumps this one off, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Rosa from 19 yards, and it's good. Lou Groza puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. The field goal will give them a little momentum going into the half. Absolutely, it's all tied up, and essentially we're back at 0-0 to start the second half. Groza boots it away. Frizel fields the kickoff at the 2. Stop at the 24. Mackenzie Frizel was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The U's have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Williamson catches the heater left sideline and gets past the markers for a first. Victor Williamson is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A well-designed first down. The clock is stopped at 26. Number 11 uncorks this to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Second down from the shotgun. Second and 10. Ball at the 37 yard. I want to pass. Interceptor. Drop down at the 36. Sharks. Ty Sharps is able to get his mitts on that soggy football out there. The rain makes those passes pretty unreliable, Dan. Now he can ring the ball out and hand it to his offense. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Red Dogs take the field with the clock at 14. Warner has his number called on first down and picks up the first down. First down, two wideouts on the field. The Red Dogs want to talk it over and they take their first time out. First down and four wideouts in the game. the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all time. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Let's take a look at our halftime stats, and boy, oh boy, the numbers look pretty even right across the board. 
the U's, no surprise, find themselves in a tight defensive struggle. It's just impossible for anyone to get yardage out there. What a slugfest this ball game's been. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number 11 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 31-yard field goal. The U's get the first points of the game and go up by three. The Red Dogs now in the second quarter. Lavelli is going to try to stretch the field here, and he is going to make them pay. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. Coming up on the end of the half, game tied, three all. Sharps was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that will do it. The U's are keeping it evened up. We're tied, three all. Excellent job, Dan. The U's get the ball first to start the second half and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's go down to the field. Rosa sends it away to begin the second half. Frizel fields the second half kickoff at the one. The whole team has it. The five brought down at the seven. The U's were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own seven yard line. Portis gets the call on first down and will lose about a yard here. Sam Logan targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 11 lobs it to the left sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Preston Kelly anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, three wideouts in the game. runs out of bounds at the 19. It will be first step. picks up one on the play. Portis used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Portis gets the call again and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Albert Kellerman was singled against a difficult route runner, but his great position caused that incompletion. Third down, one man back. Brandon Douglas just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. He gets the assist. Second and 12 from your U, 29 yards. up about two and that will bring up third down third down 
And this will be the eighth play of the drive. Johnson tracks him down and sacks him for a loss at the 21. Fourth down coming up. So three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. Ellis lines up for the punt. Back to punt. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Lavelli fields the punt at the 34. Back down at the 48. Dante Lavelli racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Red Dogs take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their 48-yard line. Warner takes it for his fifth carry and heads left. Tackled at the 46. Kurt Warner played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Hartwig takes the hit in the backfield at the 49. Jim Hartwig got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, six yards to go. Jackson and the clock continues to run. It'll be fourth. Joseph has nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he targets the quarterback and then crushes him. Oh, he sacks him way back there. Great play. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Bidwell lines up to punt after the three and out. Bidwell gets the ball and punts it away. Number 31 fields it at the 22. Drag down at the 26. The U's start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 121. It's intercepted. Forced out at the 47. Preston Kelly picks off the pass because he plays the zone so well here, completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah. that or give me the ball. The Red Dogs will start this drive near midfield with the clock at 117. Landry throws a big high lob and it's intercepted. Down at the 22. Reed times his leap perfectly to swipe away that pass for the interception. Oh, beautiful job. I swear, he is so high. Only
Bones can hear it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The U's start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1-12. Shot back with the hard throw, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down, the clock is now at 107. Number 11 throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made. That will stop the clock at 48. They could not get this one across the line, Peter. Not the best execution there in my book. True, but a bit of a loss on first isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second down. Second down from the shotgun. Sharp makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Ty Sharps came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down. The clock is stopped at 43. Number 11 lobs this one way over the middle, and it falls incomplete. Well, this downpour totally ended any chance of completing that last one. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Ellis gets the ball and punts it away. Lavelli fields the punt at the 20. Popped hard at the 30. Dante Lovello did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Red Dogs start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 29. Sit. I watch the pass. The Red Dogs take their first time out. First down, tight end to the left. Number 31 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Right there, that's how you play D. Second down, the clock is stopped at 17. Landry throws it to the left sideline, and the reception is made for a first and more. Five, touchdown! Greg Landry throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. That touchdown will give them the lead late in the game. What a play. You gotta love it. Now the point after and it's good. Sends it downfield. Frizel catches it back at the five. Drag down at the 25. Mackenzie Frizel got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The U's start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at four. 
Deidre goes in motion. Forces the incompletion. With this one in the